anyways, how you guys doing? Welcome back to Channel Veracity Trigger, Brigadine Grand Edition! Yay! Guess whose turn it is? Good it buddy is here? my turn to take on Leonard. His, his army. Palmites, Morholt. That's a good team. Uh, it's, it's, it's good, but not... As good. That good. <laughs> not as good as what you got. Nope. Now, there was another patch that I could do with some kind of grand battle uh, thing with uh, elevating uh, difficulties of the enemies, but um, I think that would be better for a single player instead of a multiplayer. I think I did something wrong. They might be able to two-tack Kai now. Not all over the place, though. Hey, what do you got to worry about, really? Well, I mean, I'll get more monsters up there around him anyway. Well, they're going to curse you. They're going to... Frost spell you. They're so gonna, far, no, no. nothing yet is really physically attacking. They're going to die. But here's the plan. They get to do here's that. Here's the plan. I know what they're going to do. Well, I mean, yeah, he's obviously going to go do that. But yeah. they kill that dragon. They've exposed your whole front line. So you keep that dragon topped off. Ain't going to go anywhere, you know. Yeah. But now they got three attacks on you. A super powerful axe attack, which uh, what is that? Palm Mighty's there. Yeah, he that's... could perform on you and get, at least get like a 70% chance on you. Try, you know, his, yeah. His powerful attack could work on because Kai's evasion is crap. Yes. You know, and then the curse spell, the frost spell, he has some archers that could shoot at you too. Wow, they're really lacing into that dragon. Well, that's the point. They kill that dragon off, they've exposed your whole front line. Perfect. Perf just perfect, dude. You just... You just pulled a Kai. Look at this. More has to stay there because you just used that. You got lucky with this. You if you would have ran out there, you'd have more venom spells, damage. I mean, that thing could do some, you know, damage to you inside. Could, but not very likely. But it, you yes. gotta start pushing forward. Oh, I will. I got plenty of guys to do this. You gotta push. You gotta push that button like it's never been pushed before. <laughs> Okay, I will push the button if you really Lance desire Lance really should go so. out there and save him. Lance should be the man to go do that. Well, he will. He should go out and hit that griffin right there. After this griffin is low enough, he will be able to very... And what you guys also may not have known, you should go in front of the dragon so you can do another Aspreth down that lineup. You know? Go in there, you see? No, the other dragon go in front of the other dragon that just did Aspreth, so you can do a double, yeah, yeah. double Aspreth. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. No, Lance that's... is at a good level. He can survive. He's at a great level. He'll be well, I, I got a bunch of healers around him anyway. You know? Yep. He's a great level. And they're not going to focus on Lance at all. It's all Kai. Oh, I was so dude, close. Dude, it's, all, it's all Kai. Yeah, but I was so and close to kill him. Uh, yeah, he's surrounded. You'll, you'll get him. Either that or your your spine tech tentacle. I can do that too, yeah. I'll move a little for closer so you can do it next time. He'll need to be a little bit forward. Right here, because they'll probably go in there anyway. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You have a three-way space. Oh, and plus, if you didn't know, man eaters are amazing because from a distance, even with forward, they have a percentage to hit the enemy to paralyze them. Yes. It's twenty to twenty-five percent. Depending upon you know physical or ranged. Well, yeah, dude. Just top him off at least. Yeah, that's a smart choice there. You might even want to protect him with someone. Dinadan could protect him, or I don't know. You might be okay there though. I think they're close enough. You're gonna do massive damage on most of their team now. Yeah. See what I do against this guy. What, what could you could? It's what's your percentage on Paul Mighty's though? It's a hundred percent on that. Or guy. Luintil. This is dang. On Luintil, level 26, 97. That would definitely work on him. If you want to go that way, or kill the dragon, whatever you feel like. This is a horse apiece here. It really doesn't matter. I'm I kind of want to kill the dragon actually. I'm get a refill. <laughs> Got to see this. Critical. Oh. You press the button too fast. Sorry. Let's see, it was 300. It was a high number, I know that. So, what should I do now? This is interesting. I'll do Divine Ray on uh, Luantil instead. See what it does to him. 
Not too shabby. Just hit this guy for fun. Ooh, that was nice. Alright. First things first. Heal this guy up. Oh, you gotta top him off, dude. If he dies, you're gonna... Well, you could let him die and see how much damage you could take. <laughs> I don't really want to do that, per se. What do you say, audience? What do you say? You've been so quiet for so long. Please don't... Please say something. Tell him he's wrong. I don't want to lose this dragon. Tell me I'm right. No, no, just... If you're going to comment on this video, tell him that he's wrong to see how much damage our, enemy, our enemies can take. Well, why not? It'd be a fun experiment. Then you experiment with your own guys, not mine. I'd rather experiment with yours. I know you want to experiment with It's more fun that way. I don't have to worry. I can sit here and laugh and joke and have a good time. Mom seeing you there sweating bullets. That's not <laughs> fun for me, though. Oh, Vinard's not going to worry about this, but his team, his team will. Oh, yeah. That's the point. So sad when that happens. Yeah, I know. I'm actually a big fan of Vinard. I just have Oops. not played with him much lately. Not with our multiplayers. Oh yeah. Might have to in a coming, coming mm -hmm. soon, multiplayer. Yeah, possibly. A lot of people think Vinard is really powerful, but I just don't. I don't see that. Don't he, he has a lot of decent knights, and he has some decent monsters, but almost everything is just second tier. Yeah, but he's got, practically nothing is. But third he's got tier. a lot of them, though. That's that. That's the main thing. He's got a lot of them, so it makes him look more powerful. It, make, it makes you think it balances it out. But when you come to individual fights, it's just three knights versus three knights. That is true. Yeah. You know, and you already got uh, Garrett that's almost in Shogun status. Uh, you got Janford that's pretty close, or Sierra. I think Sierra's closer. Really? Uh, for for classing up to third tier status. Kai's already way too powerful. Well, yeah. Kai's just way too... Kai himself pretty much just runs the entire show. Yeah. Oh, no matter how you do it. And then you've got Dinadan, which is a special character. So Dinadan is already in a third tier status. Garant is almost in third tier status. Drist has Ira, which is a special character, which is like third tier status. Uh, Leoness is Patterness, which is, you know, third tier status. Vinard yeah. has not a third tier status character. Uh... Esgarez has Gish, has Escalados. Well, Esgarez has got a lot you know, of guys. But I'm saying they're third tier status already. Yeah. Vinard has nothing of that. Gwingulin is close, but he's not in that position. Yeah. You know? Well, like, well, like Luintel, Gwingulin, and, Luintel and Mohart. Luintel is close, but he's just... And so is Mohart. He's got like, three guys. He's got so close, but it's not quite know, there he's yet. He's got three guys that are there, but when they're actually there, they're, so, they're that much better. Yeah. I think they're gonna run. Oh yeah. Well, I this killed, doesn't make any sense. I she, killed too many monsters. She, she could have cursed Kai right there. And then. I could. I yeah. I, mean, I killed way too many monsters. See, like if if this were me, I just focused on Kai. Well, yeah. With everything I had, is I'd have a curse. I'd have a powerful axe strike. I'd have a frost spell. Wow, man, you'd be getting you'd be getting walloped. You know, by That's a lot I'm of stuff. I'm not fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that was that for that. I think we're gonna. I think that was it. Unless they attack us, we're gonna go right to organize phase right away, and we're gonna show you how to do all, how to do that. Well, yeah, <laughs> no, we'll I'm just kidding. We're not gonna show you how to do it, but um, we'll, we'll show you show what we what goes on in there, obviously. Yes, you said it better than I did. Yeah. Uh, so, do we hear any more music? Nope. No. That's it. If if the if the battle's over and you start to hear music right away while the battle's over, it's still running. That means there's still another attack on you. Yes, and this is your act first. Okay, so first things first. Save it up. Save it up every single time, immediately. Right after a battle, right after organization. But why do we do that, teacher? Explain. Because if there's ever a case where something just magically shuts down, you have power failure, well, there goes your file. 
Oh, now I get it. There you go. See, it sometimes takes a couple seconds to compute in my head. Yeah, now it's catching on. I got an ulcer here. You have an ulcer there? Yes, I do. Wow, that, that's, that's gotta pretty be, big. That, that's gotta be painful. I know, it's, it's turned into a whole identity of its own. Wow. It's actually got a face now. Look at that. Can he talk? Pretty ugly. What's his What's his story? What's the story about this ulcer? ulcer? An intelligent man who values dignity over and tradition. He has made many suggestions to improve Escalio's future, but the Mad King ignores them all. Ulster bears his, his pathetic life as best he can. <laughs> that sounds like he, he hates his life. He's a very pathetic person. Now, well, they just does beat him up a lot. They call him Mad Monarch here, which you know, I'm used to. Yes. You know, before it was Tyrant. Look at this. Skill. Criticals. Plus 10%. And says good at aiming for critical hits. See, now that... A little funny, but it makes a little more sense. Yeah. Look at this. Diagonal slash aimed at the head. Pre-move only. Gruesome scythe attack. <laughs> the Mad King of Escalio. Selfish and decadent. He doesn't grasp basic concepts like virtue and respect. He is a strong warrior, but doesn't use logic. Merely follows his own whims. Yeah, like you say, hey, this seems like a good idea. Let's do it. <laughs> no, actually, I think I think they made him look a little more clownish, but he actually does follow a fairly decent logic. Because he didn't just go to war with anybody at any point in time. He found this was the best opportunity to do it. Yeah, that, that, that is true. He may have warred or have had some battles previously with some other countries, but I don't think it was completely a whim. I think he had some intellectual decision as to doing it. That could just be my opinion, but I think I'm fairly accurate on that. Um, yeah, Cortina is an expert now. I can change her back so she can learn some heal spells, which might help me, but she's going to lose. She's going to lose MP power, and I have so many healers, it's ridiculous. I don't think I need her as a healer right now. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't put her as a healer. Yeah, no. Let's see what I got for equipment. Flame bow, I already know about that. Can I get an item? Is that possible? Nope. I mean, without question, I don't think it is possible. Wait, how high is he? 26? No, I couldn't turn into a super tyrant. I don't think I could. Uh, can you even do that in multiplayer anyway? No, I don't think you could. Like, Lance cannot turn into... King. A king. A multiplayer. Can't. Just won't happen. Yeah. Um, so you get no cutscenes in multiplayer. So if and when I do this single player, you will see the cutscenes, the, all the voiceover stuff. I'd love to show you that right now, but I just can't because it's not possible. But once I do the single player, you'll see it. So, yeah, there's really nothing more I can do. Um, all I got to do attack is... See, Paul... You had amazing advantage here. You had so many opportunities to keep pushing forward. And I did. I can push into here, but then I have to create another army. Yes. So right now I can move this army over here, and I might be able to push in somewhat. But, uh... But even at my secondary team attack, this depends on what he's got. Practically nothing. Yeah, that's uh, pretty easy. I could have my secondary team go in here. And start putting Drist over there right now. Pretty good. Now, yeah. he now he has to stay because yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. two castles left, so... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to start tearing up some... Tearing up the rug over here. The rug? Yeah. Fado, Fado, whatever you want to call it. This is Toria. But I've always said Torah in some of my other previous videos on my yeah. other channel, we'll the 7777 Trigger channel, which also you can just see it as Trigger. Uh, I say Torah a lot. We'll keep it as Torah. But uh, that's fine. That's fine. Dilworth is always worth Dill. It's worth nothing. Cadbury comes from the... Cadbury Bunny. No. <laughs> I, think <it's laughs> a, I think it was actually a, a thing. Yeah, it was. But uh, somewhere. I don't know why this was changed to Thala. Now, um, Talus, I think, was an Arthurian castle. This is all Arthurian legend for the person that uh, went through and, you know, changed a lot of stuff to make it a little better. I love the fact that this is Brasiliande still. 
I love the name of Brassleyana. It's just an amazing name. Leshgenaut, Calisent. I think he changed uh, Linus. I don't know. Oh, no, he changed the way it's titled because Linus, Calisent were named the same thing as far as the what the words were. Royal Seat Calisent. Yeah, they were both. Uh, what were they called? Mm, tower. But whatever the description was, it was the same for both of them. And I think the guy that was doing it was kind of confused as to why. But uh, it makes sense, Rune Tower, because it has the most mana rune yeah, yield. Yeah, it's the highest ca highest castle. You know, out of anything, which is kind of funny. I thought Logras would be the you highest. You would think Logras would be the, the strongest one, but... Yeah, it's got good mana. It's close. Though. It's very, very close. And Calisant's pretty good, too. I don't remember... Horse. Yeah. I think he has. Oh, is pretty good. Yeah, 489. Um, so, anyways, that's really it for my turn. I have nothing more to do. I'm just wasting my time here. Yeah, you're wasting a lot of our viewers' uh, time. I'm wasting your. I'm wasting Paul's time too. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't live here, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay, well, first thing is first. We're gonna go up here, and we are going to class up my sage. Lucara. Into a sage! A Mystic sage! To sage. Now she looks really beautiful. I like the green a little better than the pink. Honestly, I do to myself, but... It is... I guess there's some reds in there, but... Uh, I like the the bit of the blue and... Uh, yeah. stuff. I always I want to look at that. his... I always so. want to look at his status, his... thing. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay. So, because now we're playing as him, we are allowing him to be a to level shield, up. Then, yes. Otherwise, we never allow him. We we are literally that that uh, we are literally that stuff shirt that we will just not allow Garrett to turn into Shogun. That is very true. Yes, <laughs> we are that much of an elitist that we were like, nope, nope, nope. But well, he never could anyway. He was like, nope, 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 nope. not gonna, not on my time. Not on my time, you know. You're not becoming Shogun on my time. It was already impossible for him, Daniel, and he just couldn't do it. It's kind of sad about Lance. He just lost all his hope. He was kind of like the kid that had all the hope and the ambition, and just everything just went wrong for him, yeah. and then everything went wrong for him again. Yeah, now this guy... Here, why don't you read this off? King of a small, magical land, Caroleon. His gentle exterior seems unkingly. Un 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 but it hides a strength and intelligence within. Beneath his calm smile, he is masterfully analyzing every situation. So he may not look like a very... They made him sound like super, super good. Like well, super intelligent. He actually is very smart. One of the smartest guys in the entire continent. I mean, well, look at his intelligence. It's 105, I mean... I like the other description from the regular uh, uh, Burgundine, um, the North American version for Vinard a little better. Uh, oh, but no. I think they changed it to include Leoness being married to him. Yeah. But it says something about it says something more about him. I can't remember exactly, but so that's that. As you all know, see how how this is. If this is terrible. I'm coming in here with my secondary army. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, they're they're not too good. Uh. Good night. Good fight. Good night. I could go a different way, but uh. Go with Daffy Duck. Should I go with Daffy or Victoria or Lucia? Well, Lucia might be actually pretty good. I usually do go with her. Sheridan. I don't know who this guy is. He's a guy that likes to share things. That's what they call Let's him look name. at what... I think I've seen him before. Oh yeah, that's the one I was like, who's this idiot? Yeah. Who is this idiot? Energetic, but easily distracted. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's lack of people skills make him avoid knighthood instead of working on his own. Finally, at his mother's rebuke, he applied himself to become an excellent knight. Oh, he had to listen to his mommy. So, because he listened to his mom, he just instantly becomes an amazing knight? 
somehow I don't see that he is that good. His mom was that nurturing? Uh, I don't know what she did, but... Did something. <laughs> did she breastfeed him too late? I think she still is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That worked out great. <laughs> I really put him down there. Oh man. I was trying to make fun of him and insult him in a way that was funny, but you just upstaged me on that one there. Good job. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, we're attacking with secondary teams here, so you're going to see some awesome secondary team battles. And you know what? The reason I brought Doggo up here... Because of luck. <laughs> what do <laughs> I have on my team here? A water creature uh, known as a Tiamat? Also known as Death, that I named him. Yes. So, we're going to do this And he's today. got his breath is known as Death Breath. I could send the other ones here, but this is pretty much right at the end. Um, well, at least for the end of Norgard. Before you do anything, just make sure you go in your location to make sure you've seen what's going to happen. And that should be that. Alrighty. Now, we're going to have to see what he has here. Not much to do. You can take that out with anything. Well, my secondary team says I just got a sage. Well, that should be fun. Should be. And now we're going to have to see what is cluttering up Lydney. Ah, Zemeckis fun with his stuff. wife and Urban. Urban. He's a pyromancer now. Raised like a brother to Lance, it was thought that he would become the prince's right hand man. But on the night of the rebellion, he joined Zemeckis. Only he knows why. Oh, well, I know why too. Why is that? I'm just not gonna say. Because you don't know. That could be it. <laughs> 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 you could have said why, but you don't actually know. Uh, this might be kind of tough for I these like guys to get around. around. Oh, with your main team, do it. Oh my gosh, dude, you got your main team against that? You're going to tell me it's tough? You got to do this. All right. Every time I play single player, I attack Lydney right away because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Well, it looks like you will be taking out Vinard final because I am going first against the Battle of Cenodon with my team. All right. Well, we're going to pause the video here, come back to it, let you see whatever oh. takes place here, and we will, we will do it. It made, it made a fool of Norgard, but I will never bow, bow down. Well, so, that's nice. All right, everybody. Take it easy. And until next time. <laughs>